Peace and power, peace and power, family. Dr. Dennis Hassan Winkler back at you again. Um, you know, I've been uh, doing this. <laughs> I've been doing this community work thing for a while. This um, conscious communities thing for a while. And there's always been this debate this debate about whether or not you hold people accountable in public who do things in public that are let's say less than appropriate and you know I sometimes wonder where we get our rule books from I sometimes wonder where we get our rule books many times people when can correct it by others in public people come to their rescue people come to their rescue asking or stating things such as you know you don't you don't correct them in public and thinking a bit you know thinking a bit about that just thinking a bit like I ask myself what is the rationale behind this idea that you don't correct people who do things that are less than appropriate on social media in the public and I'm going to say in the public <laughs> so what I mean by that is again the question is why not correct or really address those who do things in the public in the public. So, you know, so as I think about this right now, I'm thinking, well, maybe if it's a person who does something and it's not, they're not in a habitual um, uh, I don't know what to call, call them, but someone who habitually does this, who habitually does things that are inappropriate in the public. Maybe, maybe if it's an individual like that. Maybe you say, brother, sir, you know, you did something and I thought that was inappropriate in the public. You come to me behind the scenes and you say, look, bro, I don't know if that was the best thing to do, right? Now, in fact, I think that's, I mean, I, I can get with that. I can literally get with that now that I, now that I reflect on that. But what do you do for those who continuously do inappropriate or things that are less than appropriate online continuously? And it doesn't matter if people have said things behind the scenes, if people have said things, you know, um, on social media. In fact, you know, if you've really been honest, that these individuals aren't listening to anyone in the first place, but they continuously represent our community in horrible ways, and we actually enable it. So, 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 if I address someone in the public who's always in the public browbeating our community, why ask me why I'm doing it in the public? First and foremost, we already understand that certain individuals are not going to take phone calls or correction from anyone. And it's not about the person at that point. It's about our community continuously falling for these people. So making it, bringing it to awareness is important. And in fact, again, where do we get these rules from? I, I mean, th that, that would be my question. Where do we get these rules to say that we should not address certain figures in the public. Can you tell me what page you got it off of? Can you tell me where, where, where the book is? Because I need to know. I truly need to know. Um, could, who, who's up in here with me right now? Can somebody help me out? How, who determines how we address inappropriate behavior in our community? Well, I'm going to say... <laughs> 
from my my perspective, unless you can convince me otherwise, that we have to address those people who are uncontrollable and run through our community causing havoc on these social media streets, publicly, in the public, especially if we can't, if they're doing it, don't let me let you back up, if they're doing the harm in the public, what do you say? What do you say? You say just go ahead and, you, you know, just don't address certain inappropriate behaviors publicly, just let it ride. I'm just saying, I don't know. I'm, I'm, you know, I, I interestingly, int, I honestly feel like there's something in our minds to have us saying things like that. And I, and I think it has something to do with, what, what does it have to do with? Let me think about that. Um, yeah, there's this, this idea that we feel that we tear down our leaders. And the reality is, <laughs> if people are doing things in the public in a reckless manner, I, I just want to let you know, I don't see them as my leader. In fact, I think it's important to understand that I don't, I may not see the same people that you see as leaders. I don't think they should be put up as leaders. So now what do we do in that case? You know, people say, why are you tearing down the leader? Who leader is he or she? Did, are you sure that I elected that leader? Do you have you uh, uh, asked me or others if this this person represents us in our interests? Like even even so even so, let's say the person was elected. Who and what other communities? Wh I mean, where do they do that? Where they don't address public figures publicly? I I don't understand. Please help me understand this. I'm serious. I mean, I know I might be sounding like I'm, I'm being a little um, um, sarcastic, but I really am asking the question, where do they do that at? Or how they say it, where they do that at? Where they do that at? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So if you are a public figure, you should know that that you will be addressed in the public. In fact, as soon as I got on this video, I am certain <laughs> and I am sure and not, not, not certainly sure, but it opens up the possibility for critique. You understand? Because now I am voicing things publicly so people can publicly state what they want to state on this particular video even. You understand? So why... And where do you get these rules from that people who have bigger stages cannot be addressed publicly when they're causing havoc in our community? What are we supposed to do? Huh? And again, it's not about that person. It's about the people who are influenced by these individuals. You wouldn't say the same thing if I was talking about Trump. You wouldn't say the same thing if I was talking about Biden. You wouldn't say the same thing if I was talking about anybody else. So why, again, when it comes to our community, we think that our community, our quote unquote, the people you see as leaders should not be addressed in the public. If they're in the public again, causing havoc, again, I'm going to say they need to be addressed in the public. What y'all got for me? Yeah, I mean, help me out. Help me understand this phenomenon. Help me understand the mindset behind this. I know I gave some ideas about what, what, what could possibly be happening. But again, let's stop playing games, people. <laughs> you know, um, because we really, I mean, I, I get it. We want people, we want our people to have a let me say we want we want we want to see our people do something successfully so we say well don't tear down the only person that we think in our minds that going to possibly give us a chance see the problem is the difference i have with that is 
I don't, if, if, if I, and I'm not even tearing a person down. If you critique a person's behaviors, it's not tearing them down. It's talking about their behaviors. One. And two, if I find that it is critical enough that I have to um, talk about these behaviors, it's likely that I don't even think that this person is going to be beneficial to our community in the first place. And it's not even about I. I think there's plenty of evidence that would support that this person won't be beneficial in the first place. So if it seems like one is being torn down, likely I believe that they need to get off the quote-unquote throne that he or she has created for themselves or and now the people are supporting because they believe that this is a a a a a a, a, a genuine or a, a a brilliant person that we should never hold accountable see that's the, that that's a major issue and again that is a person playing on our emotions our collective trauma our generational collective trauma again I don't see these people as being beneficial to our community. So I will continue to critique them, even if it's not directly. I will continue to critique them even in indirect ways. You understand? But nonetheless, uh, I was looking for uh, some, some, some people to help me understand why is it that we should not critique people who are so-called leaders in our community, who are causing havoc in our community so that we can warn others about these behaviors that are not beneficial to our community. I don't think anybody's giving me any answers. <laughs> I see uh, Black Mother says, speaking truth, peace peace and blessings. Um, but, you know, if you check this out later, you know, leave some comments. If, if, if you're in right now, you can you can put something down. But if, a, if, if, if people are causing havoc in our community, whether they look like us or not, and no one can tell them anything, why not critique them publicly? Please help me out. Peace and blessings, family.